Hello, this is Will from ProBackup, and in this video, I'm going to tell you a bit more about the Sync to Google Drive feature. What is this feature about? So when we backup your data, we first start with the heavy encryption on our own servers. And then from there, you have the option to sync your data backups to a Google Drive folder within your Google Drive accounts. And in this video, I'll first explain you how you can set up this uh, Google Drive connection. And then I'll also uh, show you a few examples of how that data looks like in your Google Drive folder. So to get started, um, you can log into ProBackup and you can select the app for which you would like to enable the Google Drive sync feature. You do this on a per app level basis. It's not an, an account wide uh, feature. So if you want to enable this for all of your apps, you will need to do this for each app individually. So let's say today I would like to uh, set it up for uh, ClickUp. You have two options to set it up. You can either go to the summary page and click here on connect to Google, Google Drive, or you can also go to the uh, settings page and click here on Google Drive. Um, some of you may have already set up this connection during the onboarding process because we also asked a the question there. So this is only for the users who haven't done it during the onboarding process and would like to do it um, afterwards. So to enable this, uh, I'll just click on this toggle. We give you a warning because when we sync data to your Google Drive account, we will start consuming data of your Google Drive account. So if you only sync the records, this is not much of a concern, but it could be an issue when you would like to sync huge amounts of files um, as well. So once you've clicked on the toggle, you uh, see this pop up here, and then you can select the Google account for which you would like to uh, enable the uh, sync. So on this page, you will need to select see, edit, create and delete. You will need to um, check this checkbox and then click on continue. Once this is done, you can um, close this pop up and go back to your account. So now the sync is initiated. When you just have enabled the sync, it can uptake uh, up to 24 hours before all Google folders and Google Sheets have been created. So uh, please be a bit patient once you've enabled it and maybe check the Google Drive um, in one or two days from now to see all the data to appear there. Um, you can also uh, enable the sync of files to Google Drive. We make a distinction between those two because especially with your files, this can consume a significant amount of data of your Google Drive. So by default, I think you have 15 gigabytes of, in your Google Drive, but if you have stored a lot of attachments, a lot of videos or music files in your ClickUp account, for example, then all these files would be synced to Google Drive as well. So be mindful for that if you when you enable um, this feature. To enable it, you also just click on the uh, toggle and then click on uh, confirm. Here you can also see to which Google account we are syncing it to. So you have the chance to or the option to deconnect it or to change the Google account if you would like to sync it to a another Google Drive folder. That's it for now. I'll now pause the video and wait until all data has been synced to um, uh, Google Drive. All right, so now I've waited until the first sync to Google Drive has been completed. And now I can show you how this data looks like in your Google Drive folder. Once you've enabled the sync to Google Drive, you will see here a button appear uh, to open this folder. And you also find the same button in the settings page if you then click on Google Drive. So here also there's a button to, to open the Google Drive folder. Um, but if you go straight to your um, Google Drive, you will see here a folder uh, created by ProBackup, which is called ProBackup for ClickUp and then the name of the uh, admin uh, address. As you can see here, I've also enabled the synced Google Drive feature uh, for Trello, so I can also show you there how this data looks like in your Google Drive folder. So when you click on um, this main folder, um, you'll see a readme page with some extra information and then a folder created for each of the workspaces. In this case, I just have one workspace. So there's one folder available. Um, and then what we'll do, we'll basically try to recreate the structure of your projects or lists or depending on, on the app. We'll, tr we'll try to create a structure with folders. So you have a top level folder for the workspace and then extra folders for the projects or lists. And then within that more information. So this will depend a bit depending on the integration. But in the case of um, ClickUp, we start with one on the workspace, then there's one on space level. And if you click on the one of space level, you'll see uh, a folder created for each of the folders that exist in ClickUp. So if you go to ClickUp, we see here, um, the team space and then a project folder. And then these are separate lists within that project folder. So this is basically also the structure that we, we have in Google Drive. So if you click on projects, you will see project one, project two. And then if you click on these uh, folders, you will see all of the Google Sheets created in here. 
So uh, this is now like the bottom level and where the actual data resides of that project. So if you click on tasks here, you'll see that we've created a Google Sheets similar to the, or that has all the data that has, that also exists in ClickUp. So this is just a very simple list with not much data. And you see the same here uh, appearing. You will also notice when we create a Google Sheets for a certain project, we will only create Google Sheets if there's data for that data type. So in this case, for this project, I have list members, tasks and view lists. But for example, if I go to the second project, I see there's also a Google Sheet with the comments, one with the att attachments and custom fields and so on. So this will depend on what kind of data resides in that project. And if you click here on tasks, for example, um, you'll see the same uh, as before, but with a bit more in information. So this is similar to the data that you will see when you go back to your uh, Pro Backup account and you go to cards, for example, or tasks better, and you click on the second project. You will also see the same data in, in table formats. And you will, so when we sync it to Google Drive, you will see the same information in a Google Sheet. It's important to note that this information, what you see in Google Drive is completely um, optional. It's not mandatory. It's also not the data that we're using to restore data back to your ClickUp account. So if you're restoring a task from uh, the user interface and click here on restore task, then we will actually use the data that is stored on our servers to restore that data back to ClickUp. So it doesn't matter if you have enabled to sync to Google Drive, we don't use this data to restore data back to your ClickUp account. You could, of course, if you wish to restore or import some data manually, um, you could always export this to an Excel file and then re-import it to ClickUp. That's totally fine. But when you restore data through the user interface, as explained in the uh, restore tutorials on our YouTube channel, we restore all of this data um, with the metadata. So if you restore a task that has comments and files, then these all these relationships and metadata will be uh, restored as well. So that's an important thing uh, to note. Uh, another thing I should mention about these um, folder structures is that when you, for example, um, update you know, the columns of a certain list, for example, in ClickUp, you can, um, let's say you go to this project, you have the option here to add more fields or columns to a list, then and you have also the option to, to, you know, change the sequence of columns and stuff like that. When you change like the template of an app or a board or a project, then our system will automatically archive the existing Google Sheets and create a new Google Sheet instead. So that's very important to note because some users like to use these Google Sheets to build um, reporting on top of them. And, and that's definitely possible. But do know when you change like columns or sequences, then we will automatically archive the existing uh, Google Drive folder and then a um, extra folder with archived sheets will appear. We will place that the existing or the original sheet in the archived folder and then a new sheet will be created that will have the new sequence of columns and the new fields um, included. So this is how it looks for ClickUp. Let me just quickly show you a similar example for Trello. So here again, I have the um, top main level. We have one sheet on um, account level, which are just a list of the organizations. But then if you click on the workspace, um, you immediately get to the boards. So this is an, is an example of how the structure different, differentiates a bit depending on the cloud app. Uh, but if you're used to working in Trello, you will quickly find back the information um, or like you, you'll recognize the structure of uh, that particular app. So here we have a folder per board. And if you then click on, uh, yeah, click on one of these uh, folders, you will see similar to with the ClickUp list, you will see here all Google Sheets created for that board. So again, here, if there's no attachments available for that uh, board, then no Google Sheet will have been created. So, and if you click here on the cards, also here, this is uh, similar then to the information that you would see if you would navigate to the same um, cards of that board. Uh, in the user interface. So here you have all these cards listed in table format. You, you will see the same um, here as well. One last thing I would like to uh, mention is that when you've activated the uh, sync of files to Google Drive, so I can show you here on the settings page for Google Drive. In the case of ClickUp, I have also enabled the sync of files to Google Drive. So what will happen then? We will then collect the attachments of each list and put them in a dedicated folder within uh, the folder of that list. So if I go back to Google Drive, or I can use this button here as well to open it, I click on the workspace um, and then the right uh, project folder. 
So in this case, this project has some attachments. You also see here a Google Sheet with the attachment listed and also with the ClickUp link here. But you will see also here a, fo a new folder edit that will have collected all of the attachments. So if you click here, you see here the yeah, these two files, images um, listed that were also listed in the uh, sheet here. So when you enable the sync of attachments, you will find for all the lists that have that do have attachments an extra folder within the project uh, folder or list folders. The same for Trello, there we will create an extra attachments folder within each uh, folders of the boards. Then there's one last tip that I would like to tell you about when you're using uh, the sync to Google Drive feature. And that is that there's an app created by Google that's called Google Drive for Desktop. And this app allows you to automatically download or sync all of the information that's stored in your Google Drive to your local uh, device, so your laptop. It's both available for Windows and uh, MacBooks. And it's a very handy feature because that means that um, everything you see here, all of these attachments are continuously synced um, from your Google Drive to your laptop. That also means that if you don't have any internet access or whatever Google Drive is not available for some reason and Pro Backup is not available for some reason, you can always access your data backups offline on your local device. And this is a very uh, useful feature because this allows you to kind of leverage the Sync to Google Drive feature to extract all of the attachments and data that is stored in your SaaS apps to your local device. So we first back it up and store it with encryption on our servers, then we sync it to your Google Drive folder, and then from there you can set up an automated sync to your local device. And with this, we've come to the end of this more deep dive tutorial on the Google Drive Sync. I hope this was helpful for you. If you wish to learn more about the other features of Pro Backup, then I recommend checking out our YouTube channel or our help center. Thanks for watching.